Hi YouTube viewers, Eric from Beat Sonic. Today we have here a 2017 Toyota Camry XLE Hybrid with technology package. And we're gonna be installing the Beat Sonic IF02EP smartphone mirroring device. Uh, we're gonna go through step by step and we're also gonna show you a demonstration afterwards. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first step is to remove this piece over here. Just simply grab a hold of it and pull upwards. It's just being held by clips. Okay, and there's connectors down here. This is um, a fully loaded XL Lee version with seat warmers and EV mode echo mode button. So all four connectors are occupied and we're gonna disconnect every single one. Put this aside. And next is to remove these two Phillips screwdriver. Let's remove the shift knob. First push down on the bottom and then turn counterclockwise. And we're gonna want to move the shifter to about neutral or drive. Let me turn the engine for now it down, holding the brake, lift it up, and turn it off. Okay, and after that is removed, just connect this connector over here. Okay, the next step is to remove these two screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, once those screws are removed, you'll be able to pull this assembly out. Let's um, move the shifter down again. Okay, once this is removed, Locate the connectors on the back, disconnect them. Okay, next step, we're gonna remove this top piece. It's all just being held by clips. Just pull it up and it'll come loose. And there's one connector back here. Okay, next step, we wanna remove these two Phillip screws using a Phillip screwdriver. Okay, next, apply some masking tape around this area as it's it's really easy area to get scratched while removing the center panel. Okay, once you have that, grab a hold of your 10 millimeter socket wrench with an extension and you are going to remove four bolts. One, two, three, four. Okay, once all this out, Let's lay a big blanket over here and we're gonna place the radio on top of that. Okay, and just pull it towards you. And now we are behind here. So let's grab our adapter, our uh, mirroring interface adapter, and we are gonna plug it back here. The following are the components that's included with the IF02EP kit is everything you see on this side of the line. And if you wanted to mirror an Android device instead of an Apple device, then you will need to get um, wireless phone mirroring system such as the one you see here. This is the one by Netgear. It works great, we have tested it. But unfortunately, there are no wireless mirroring system for iPhones that we could find. So let me go ahead and go through each and one of these products um, with you. So as you can see, the connector on this video input piece and the DVD and navigation and motion piece is identical. So you can connect them ahead of time together. And the other end of the RCA cable is gonna connect to this male to male joint connector, which is gonna be connected to the HDMI to AV adapter. Double check to make sure the color codes do match. So the white to white, red to red, and then the yellow to yellow. Okay, and then on the other end of um, this HDMI to AV adapter, we're gonna connect the, the HDMI male to male joint connector. And to power this HDMI to AV adapter, we're gonna connect this USB cable to this USB socket and this USB um, power is going to be connected on this bullet connectors to red to red and black to black. And after all the components from the IF02 is connected, get a hold of your pro the products that you bought, you purchased separately. So here's the Lightning AV adapter. The Lightning AV adapter will connect to the other side of this HDMI male connector, which is gonna connect to the extension, Lightning cable extension cable, because this is too short to 
be able to route to the inside of the car. The other cable we have here is the lightning charger cable. You simply connect it from the lightning AV cable and the other end will connect to this USB. Okay, now that I got my adapter with me and everything is pre-connected as we had just gone over, the only two connectors that I'm gonna be working on is this one over here and this one. So let's start off the top one. So simply hold and disconnect. And in place, we'll be daisy chaining our interface. Okay. And then the next connector we're gonna be working on is this one over here. Same thing, just disconnect and then reconnect daisy chain with our connector okay and after that is connected find the negative um, ground terminal here and we are gonna ground this to the side bracket over here using a eight millimeter socket all right and now that everything is connected let's test it to make sure it works let's see source you'll see a new icon that says AV and looks like the foam mirroring is working as it should all right now that we got to this far let me finish the installation by routing a couple of the wires to the footwell of the driver's side and if you look inside behind the radio you'll find that there's an opening down there so there's two things that you need to route through that hole. One is this, this switch over here that has the NP and TV on it. Um, if you have the model with navigation such as this one, when it's on TV, um, you, this has to be on TV when you mirror your phone because you want the video in motion. Um, but what happens also is your car stops on the map. So only when you're mirroring your phone, you want it to be on TV. When you're not mirroring your phone, you want it to be on NP mode. So you need the uh, switch to, for you to be able to switch back and forth between NP and TV. But if you have the model without factory navigation, then it doesn't matter. You could just leave it on TV the whole time and you wouldn't have to deal with this switch. So just leave it on TV and tuck it behind the radio. Okay, remove the switch like this. Place it down there carefully. You can use your other hand to reach over and grab the wire. Once we have this wire routed through the driver's side footwell, get your connector or your switch, plug it back in like this, and use the double-sided tape that's included with the kit. You could stick it on either right here, somewhere with the flat surface like right here. So it's all to your personal preference. So this time I'm gonna uh, route the lightning extension cable. As you can see, we're gonna go through the same hole. And then this side, we will plug it to our lightning to HDMI converter over here. And the next step is to clean the wires behind and have them all fit nicely behind this radio. Okay, now that this is in, we're gonna just reverse order everything we just did to put everything back to how it's supposed to be. As you can see, we put all our panels back to where it's supposed to be. And um, when you first plug your phone in, your screen that's being mirrored is not gonna be full screen. So let me show you how to make it full screen. So from this screen here, touch the screen, go to screen format, and then touch stretch. It's gonna be on normal, that is default. And once you go stretched, you'll find that your screen is now utilizing the whole entire screen like this. Google Maps, Apple Map, and if we go open up YouTube. So once you open up a YouTube video, you'll find that the screen on your iPhone is going to be in the connected to AirPlay mode. And, but then on the screen, you'll see that it's going to be full screen video, whatever you're showing. Um, for applications like YouTube or even Netflix and a lot of the video plays, you could lock your phone if you like. 
and it will continue to play on your screen. And the volume is of course controllable using your factory volume controls. And while all this is happening, your phone is also being charged as you can see over here. Depending on your Toyota model, the lower trim model screens is actually, the resolution is actually a bit lower. So the screen quality will not be as good as a screen from a higher trim car model. The phone mirroring system only is controllable from your iPhone. So this touch screen will not be responsive to the phone's control. All right, as we're playing with our phone mirroring system, uh, one thing to note is all these videos in the phone mirroring system is viewable while the vehicle is in motion. So we're, the car is stopped right now, but although the car is moving, it will continue to display this on the screen. Okay viewers, well this concludes our installation and demonstration video of our IF02EP on this 2017 Toyota Camry XLE with technology package hybrid model. If you have any additional questions, please contact us at info at beatsonicusa.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Beatsonic USA. Thank you very much.